I am complete with the project. I am basically just doing an audio and vi video test, uh, playback. When you put everything together, you want to just make sure everything is working. Like these thing pads, like if you don't put a screw exactly as it was before or run the cable in the little speaker wires through, uh, stuff won't work and stuff won't fit back together perfectly. The project, it wasn't so bad. I started after work today around six o'clock and now it is exactly 126, but I took like a two hour, finished around midnight, took a break for dinner to eat food and um, to clean up a little bit before doing this final video part. The um, ThinkPad maintenance manual helped me a lot. I printed this, downloaded this online. The thing with Lenovo, you get these, um, this information for free. I did a double-sided printing at work. You get it for free, it's a PDF, print it out and you could work on any ThinkPad that you own. So it's kind of really easy to do. The only tools I basically used was just your screwdriver, a uh, little uh, dental pick for prying, uh, tweezers for picking up the, the tiny screws. They're really tiny. I also had a bag of spare ThinkPad screws that I keep, as well as some uh, silicone, I believe this is, um, this one is silicone based uh, heat sink compound as well as a metal metallic one. I think this is the, um, doesn't say, but this is the um, heat sink compound that I used. Uh, so have that handy if you're going to, since you will be re removing the fan when you replace the magnesium base. And that's about it. I post-it notes and a pen, pencil, a pen to mark off what you take off uh, as you organize the screws. And also had this old iPad. Um, iPod generation one rubber case to as I was taking screws out like some sections you might get stuck when you, it's time to put stuff back together and you might want to have those screws for whatever component you're putting back in handy and away from the other screws because what's going to happen you'll have like a hundred screws different sizes different shapes hanging out you know next to your workspace and I'm doing this in my bedroom. It's not well lit, so I was trying to be as careful as possible. And these uh, silicone um, cases, they don't move, they don't budge. And you put a screw in there, it's not going to roll away or anything like that. So it's kind of kind of handy to have that in place. Uh, I had some tools out the car I took from my trunk I didn't really use. But um, every every screw on this thing pad uses a basic Phillips, uh, micro Phillips uh, screwdriver. And that's pretty much it. Um, so what I did was, in my previous videos, I showed you guys I was replacing the original magnesium base shell, the frame, that broke from um, broke at the hinge. And this is a common ailment of the W500 and T500 uh, series ThinkPads. And uh, in doing this project, I realized, I did not realize before, but this lid is really, really heavy. Let me take this off. Um, this video this lid is really really heavy it's I, I say it's about 50% maybe 40 to 50% the weight of the entire um, thing pad is in the lid um, component right here so all that weight half the weight of this computer is literally resting on the left hinge the right hinge is okay it's well reinforced when you look at the um, the skeletal uh, frame on the base it's well reinforced at this hinge like it has all that plating right there but on this side, I don't know what happened. It's just really frail on this side. Uh, there's another piece that goes here and it broke off in, in doing a project. So it was um, kind of what's gonna happen. Uh, and that's why my hinge was loose initially and that's why I started the, this project. Right now, the hinge is fine. It swivels really good. It's really heavy, so it's, I have to kind of force it. But hinge works fine. Remember when you put in this back together, especially the base, the keyboard, the bezel, um, make sure, check everything, double check everything because what's gonna happen is as you put stuff back together and you forget one screw or you don't run the speaker wires um, properly in the channels, what's gonna happen as you you know close stuff back up, you'll come to a part where you can't go any further and you realize you did something wrong 10 steps ago or nine steps ago and you have to go back and fix it. So just always double check as you go through or this will take a long, long time. Uh, like I said, I started after work. Um, took me from six to midnight to, to do this and it's my first time doing the um, the base. What 
what it is is you basically removing the motherboard from this. You disassemble, you you taking apart the entire thing except for the lid, the LCD component. You taking apart the entire base when you replace this. Uh, you don't really have to touch anything on the motherboard, but on the motherboard itself. But um, when you take the motherboard from this base, but um, it's still gonna be a lot of little screws around the place. So just um, keep that in mind. It's easy. If I'm doing this again, I may actually um, buy another. Uh, now the magnesium frame and the way these frames are designed is that there's no um, there's no upgrade to the original frames, so it's either gonna be a used frame that you replace your broken frame with, or it's gonna be kind of a new frame but it's the same flawed design where it's very weak around the left hinge here. So if this breaks once, you have to be really careful. It's gonna whatever you replace it with um, the replacement frames. They're not going to be any sturdier than what you just um, replaced. So uh, just be real careful, or you'll be doing this uh, project a lot of times in the in the you know time with your ThinkPad, the time you've owned your ThinkPad. So I did a, a check and everything. Once everything's back together and it's back together correctly, properly, and when you go to reboot your computer, don't be scared. It's going to do a couple of BIOS um, checks. Um, this particular ThinkPad did some security checks to make sure the ThinkPad wasn't stolen. It, I don't know what, what it does, but it takes about 10 minutes to run through everything. You have to reset the BIOS clock. I believe when you remove the motherboard and some components on the motherboard, it knows this. So it just wants to check to make sure you didn't steal the ThinkPad and the BIOS is proper, properly tuned with the correct time and date. So uh, don't be scared. Just let it do its thing. It took about 10 minutes or so on this ThinkPad to do. The next thing I'm actually going to do is um, the display on these are really, really bad. These W500s are known to be bad, just like the left hinge is bad. This one is the WUXGA display, and this is the original, I believe this is um, a Samsung uh, LCD um, display. And it's about originally 175 NITs of brightness. It's 1920 by uh, 1200. Uh, resolution, really, which is really crisp and clear from viewing images and videos and stuff like that. But this display is really, really dim. It's supposed to be 175 NITs, but it, it's, it has to be le way less than that because when I turn on my ThinkPad uh, T61, this is from 2007, this is from 2008, 2009, I'm sorry. You could see the difference in the brightness of these displays. And this one is originally 150 NITs when this was brand new. This was 175 when this was brand new. And this is, you can see the difference in the, in the brightness. And when you look at um, an image here, look at the same image I have this set up. You can kind of see, uh, it's not only dim, but the whites here are way more whiter than the whites here. It just looks like a dirty kind of, um, ivory kind of white and the darks it's just way better contrast than this uh this panel i'm not sure what who what the maker of this panel is but this is a s x g a unit and this is 1400 by 1050 uh resolution a uh, pix resolution display uh so you see the difference so that's why i want to replace this L lcd panel as quickly as i can um that's gonna be my next project i'll probably do another um kind of video like this on that when i do that project uh, I'm going to look for, there's three panels you could get for this W500, T500, same thing applies. There's the original Samsung, which is what you don't want. These panels are really, really crappy. There's the uh, LG panels, which also do, does the WUXGA. They do a lot of um, lower resolution panels for this um, model, but they do the high res resolution panel as well. But it's much more rare to find, costs a little bit more money. But uh, I think that offers about 200 to 220 NIT. So it's going to be really bright and it's, it's a better quality panel. And then above that, there's a sharp panel, which is much rarer. It's actually originally made for a Dell computer, but same WUXGA resolution, but that has like something like 250 and above NITs for brightness. So it's going to be really bright, really clear. I'm looking for that panel to put that in here. Um, and that's going to be it for this write up. Um, this is a great computer. It runs really cool. Even though I still, when I removed the fan, I cleaned the fan out. Well, that's another thing too. When you remove the fan and the heatsink apparatus, you want to like maybe have a can of air nearby to spread out the dust. It didn't have a lot of dust. Like this is a really cool running computer. In the two weeks I've had this computer, I don't think the fan came on. It's not even on right now, 
But yet, this computer is much, much warmer at the uh, fan vents than this one. And it's basically, they're basically doing the same thing. This is actually doing less because this does not, this does, this was not running a YouTube video a minute ago. This was running a couple of YouTube videos and sound. But it's much cooler, so I still clean out the fan and the heat sink. Put the silicone and the, I'm sorry, the metallic uh, paste on there. Um, on the, uh heatsink fan just keep it um fresh keep it uh running cool um and that's about all i could say uh the project was easy uh, like i said the replacement frame should have everything on there already like this uh i didn't have to reuse any of the stuff on my old frame uh, my new my used actually my new used frames frame that i put in there came with screws and stuff already on there so i didn't have to replace anything um like i said if you know what you're doing this should take about two hours maybe less i didn't know what i was doing i'm working in a dim bedroom back here uh with not much um space to maneuver and it took me about five to six hours and i took a break in between so I'm looking at maybe four hours straight work so it's not that bad um a project to do and that's it this is gonna be a quick uh not a quick but this was a review on not a review uh Sort of, it's not even a DIY, because uh, I didn't really show you guys what to do, but all you have to do is download the manual online. This will show you what to do, and the rest is straightforward. I bought my replacement frame on eBay for about $12. I'm actually going to buy another frame, because I think as, I'm, as I was putting that frame in, <clears throat> I realized it's just going to break eventually. So I'm going to buy, this. I'm going to just buy a brand new one of these. I noticed a couple of brand new ones for more money, maybe uh, fifteen to twenty dollars. I'm just buy a brand new one and keep it as a spare on the side, in case these the one that I put in there today breaks um, eventually. And I think eventually these is just gonna break because of the design. What uh, Lenovo is doing this magnesium technology um, was more for this type of ThinkPad, where a smaller L, uh, smaller LCD panel. Um, lid much lighter lid this lid is about maybe 20% the weight of the entire laptop here This lid is about 40 to 50% the weight of the entire laptop But when you use the technology with the same technology with, between the two It's not gonna work out most of the times That's why um, You know, it's why you have to do stuff like this, but Lenovo and ThinkPad makes it really easy to work in these computers so um, You know that's it, and that's my discussion. Look at the panels, you'll see why I have to update the panels. And it's not even, it's not even that bad. It's bad when you put, say, like an all kind of white screen, you see how dim that is. But, um, and that's it. That's gonna be my, my write up.